But Thanks, you admit uh, that, it's uh, a circum. All you have right now is a circumstantial case. Uh, actually, no, Chuck. Uh, I, I can tell you that the case is more than that, uh, and I can't go into the particulars. But there is more than circumstantial evidence now. So, um, again, I think so you Director have Clapper, seen direct evidence of collusion. Uh, I don't want to go into specifics, but I will say that there is evidence that is not circumstantial uh, and, uh, and is very much worthy of investigation. So, is th There has been a report from CNN that uh, Wednesday night that, there, that the FBI was looking into collusion uh, with, with the Russians in the Trump campaign uh, w uh, in terms of spreading information about Hillary Clinton's campaign. Is the, do you have any information to back that up? Uh, I'm not sure uh, that I can comment on that. Uh, I can say that I think that the investigation that the director talked about at our Monday hearing uh, is justified. Uh, I think there is a sufficient basis for that investigation, not to, only to have been initiated, uh, but for it to continue at this point. And I don't have a concern with other members characterizing the evidence as they have. And many of them have said they think there's no evidence of collusion. My disagreement with those members is I don't think that's accurate. Okay. Uh, and I feel an obligation to say so. So they can call it a fishing expedition. They can call it a witch hunt. It's all an aligned message with the White House. But nonetheless, real evidence is coming forward that just can't be ignored. Uh, so we do know a lot more. I, I think the claims that there was no evidence of collusion have long since fallen away. Uh, the question now is what is the, the quantum of proof here? Well, this Christopher Steele may have found out even before our own intelligence agencies that the Russians were in fact aiming to help Donald Trump in the election. That has now been borne out by ample evidence. Uh, I think you see the most palpable evidence of a collusion in terms of violating the Logan Act. Look, uh, I don't think you can seriously argue that the Russians weren't trying to help Trump and hurt Clinton, uh, as well as so discord in the United States. The evidence is quite overwhelming on this. Uh, it was the early conclusion of the intelligence community, but that's only been furthered by all of the evidence we've seen in our investigation. And uh, put out uh, a statement and a report basically saying that they found no evidence of collusion between the Trump team uh, and the Russian government. Have Democrats found any evidence of collusion? Uh, yes, we have. Can you agree that there has been no evidence of collusion coordination or conspiracy that has been presented thus far between the Trump campaign and Russia? Uh, no, I don't agree with that at all. I think there's plenty of evidence of collusion or conspiracy in plain sight. Uh, that it is very possible that the best evidence uh, is yet to come. But look, you can see evidence in plain sight uh, on the issue of collusion. George, there's ample evidence of collusion uh, of the campaign and it's... The Senate intel chairman also said at this point, no evidence of collusion at this point. Have you seen, do you have direct evidence of collusion with Russia? Well, I think there is direct evidence. While there is abundant evidence of collusion, uh, but as I've said along, there's plenty of evidence of collusion. And you've said on this show and others that there is direct evidence of collusion. Were you wrong about that now that you've seen the summary of the Tesla Council's report? No, because I was saying no collusion. Well, what's your evidence? They're just wrong. You've been saying that on well, TV yes. for years. Well, I will tell you, and we, and I've also been saying, as you know, that the evidence is in plain sight.